So after 200 hours playing this game, there is uh, something that is extremely important to do regarding the controllers. So I wanted to press the R2 slowly from 0 to 100 and see how long it will take until this thing shows up. So uh, if you press the R2, which is the RT, the right trigger, if you have the uh, right trigger, uh, the button that shows up the prompt for casting spells you press it and uh, see how long the distance from the moment you start to show this thing so you're gonna press it slowly and you're gonna realize it will show up after 30% of travel distance so now from 30% of travel distance until 100% the game thinks that you're holding this thing. So you have like 70% of movement. The game thinks that you're holding this thing. So what does that do to you? For example, if I am fighting a boss and I wanted to cast a spell, but I change my mind because, well, maybe I don't have enough mana or I want to dodge a grab attack or something like that. Because of the 70% of travel distance, like the moment I let go and try to dodge, for example, I will cast a spell, for example. I will do, if I want to dodge, for example, I will do stuff like this. So, but I don't want to do that. I just want to let go from the... Okay, I just want to let go from this thing to dodge quickly. But because of the large travel distance, the game thinks I'm holding, still holding. So how to do, how to fix that? It's very, very important. So you go to Steam, and then uh, you press here, right click, and then controller, layout. After that, edit layout, triggers, and then you go here, and you make sure it's analog off usually it's like right trigger for right and left trigger for left off make sure it's off this will eliminate this long travel distance so instead from 30 percent to 7 to 100 percent the game thinks that you are still holding like 70 percent of movement travel distance the game thinks you're still holding this thing will make it like 95 to 100 percent like you have like five percent from the entire uh, travel distance where the game uh, register that you're holding the button so you can let go fast and do something else without the game thinks that you are still holding the button so analog off here and the same thing for the left trigger analog off now I did something else which is I swapped the right trigger with left trigger and left trigger with right tr uh, trigger. Why? Because I wanted to cast this spell uh, by holding left trigger while also sprinting. Now you can do that normally, but it's it's not nice. So I will show you what do I mean. All right. So now if I press the button, like the final five percent of the entire trigger uh, travel distance, the game will show me this. So it's like a click now. So when you want to cast something but you change your mind or you don't have mana or there's something uh, extremely dangerous you need to dodge, you can just like slight lift up, you can dodge. You don't have to lift your entire finger and then wait like that for fractions of a second like you get hit or something like that. So that's important. Now I swap the L2 with the R2, now when I press L2, if you look at my controller, I press L2, it shows me this thing. If you look at the game, it says R2. Why did I do that? First of all, make sure you play, always play on type A. Why? Because you want the X and Y to be the attacks button, the heavy and the light attacks. Why? Because of the mechanics of the game. You don't want uh, a long travel distance uh, attack button like the R2. This is not a Souls game. Forget about that. This game has mechanics when you, where you need a fast pressing buttons like that for attacks. 
and the RB sprint or the R1 sprint is much, much better than the toggle sprint L3. L3 is good if you are trying to run in a straight line and nothing to do. <clears throat> but when you fight enemies or bosses or you want to do some sick maneuvers or precise maneuvers and you don't want, for example, input drops, you sprint with RB. Now with type A, you can use the toggle and you can use the RB sprint. Like you have both options. But type B, you will lose the RB sprint. So type A is extremely important for this game. This is not a Souls game. This game has different mechanics where you need these buttons. Now, in terms of uh, RB sprint, like when I sprint and dodge, I'm still sprinting. Like the game still holds my button. But if I toggle with L3 and dodge, I'm back to normal uh, running. And that's not good. Even if you, for example, do this and press again, your input is gone. So you have to wait after you dodge. You have to wait like for few frames, maybe half a second, where you can press again. This is very, very bad. The toggle is good if you're just running in a free space, nothing to do, nothing to dodge. But the RB is very important for bosses and enemies. Okay, so I want to show you why I swapped LT with RT. So, this makes me sprint, for example, easily move around and having this thing up. So if I'm, for example, I want to cast this thing, see? I want to cast this thing on this enemy, do this. See? It's very nice having this thing up while moving around. You see? But if you have it on RT, it's like clunky because now you have to put your middle finger in the RT and it's just not a great way to hold the controller. Alright. That's it. The problem is that, of course, like when you see here it says RT but you actually it's L2. Uh, uh, yeah, L2. And the other problem which is not really a problem is that when you go to the menu and you go here to the uh, curious you see like RT go right but actually you're gonna press LT this time it's like swapped like if you look at my controller when I press LT it goes right see and when I press RT it goes left I mean, that's basically pretty much the problem, but it's not really a problem. I, I mean, it's nothing. It's really nothing. For how much you need these things to have a solid, sick, and clean gameplay. Alright, thanks for watching.